Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The September 19th Q&A highlights at the Zawiyah. One point the Sheikh made is that God appoints as his vicegerent on earth Al Khidr. There is one Khalifa who God on earth, a Khalifa who has a mastery of the 99 divine names in their fullness. And Al Khidr was a contemporary of Musa alayhi salam. When God manifests prophecy of a prophet, the prophet hides his sanctity, his wilaya. Wilaya is itlaq, it's non qualification. And it is qualified in wayfaring by the prophets and the messengers. A prophet, a nabi, has a naba, a tiding from the heavens. And a messenger is one who brings rulings on earth. The prophet, alayhi salatu wasalam, his accompanying wali was Ali, alayhi salatu wasalam. The prophet, sallallahu alayhi wasalam, he was a prophet, a messenger, and a wali in non-manifestation, in wali un mabtoon. Whereas Ali, karam Allah wajha, he was wali thuhur, or wilayatun zahira. His was a, a sanctity that was manifest. The same relationship exists between Musa and Al-Khidr, and every prophet had in his sahba a wali, even a wali might be referred to in the Qur'an just simply as a believer, as an ishara to that wali. The Shaykh also made the point about what it means to wage war against a wali, muharabatul wali, or to offend a wali as per the first line of the hadith al-wali, man aada li waliyan. If one offends or wages war against a wali outwardly through the world of means, then one has a war in the outward realm again or God declares war against that person outwardly in the world of means. If inwardly one has a, a war against a wali or offends a wali that causes amradun qalbiya, diseases of the heart. If you offend a wali outwardly or in the manifest realm, God declares war against you in the manifest realm. If you offend or declare war against a wali inwardly, then this is a war against God, and the worst that can happen is su'ul khatima, a bad death. The next line of hadith al-wali refers to dawam, consistency. Ma zala abdi yataqarrabu ilayya bin nawafil. My servant continues to draw near unto me with nawafil. Here, dawam or consistency. The key here is what is added beyond the fara'id, beyond the obligatory act of book. These are all the hasanat the beautiful deeds which are a sila, a link. Here one draws near unto God through hasanat with the intention of God loving them, with the purpose or the, with the intent of acquiring or gaining God's love of the servant. This is what it means to draw near through the door of wilaya. If you treat beautifully other people, that entails a transactionality, you're an ajir. Al-khayr, he said, goodness is towards the common believers, but ziyaratul marid to visit the sick, as per the hadith of you, I was sick, but you did not visit me. With respect to the wali, that is a form of drawing near unto God. If you visit a sick person among the common believers, then from seven to seventy thousand angels accompany you until you arrive at the sick person. But if you visit the wali, you go alone and you find God there. You find God the hearing, as samia You find Al-Karim with the sick. Similarly, when you give to the wali, you're giving to God. When you give to the poor person, you will be recompensed by God in a transactional manner. If you love for the sake of God, then you're interacting with God or with the wali of God. If you wish to attain or acquire ajr recompense, then you interact with Muslims, with common believers. But if you wish to become him, sir to who, as the Hadith al-Wali says, then you have to work with or engage with itlaq, non-qualification. If you want a big bag of ajr, of recompense, khansa al ajr, then you engage with taqeed, with qualified individuals. A wali can even refuse your present, your gift, if he wants to refuse you. Look at Surah At-Tawbah, Ayah 104. God says, خُذْ مِنَ مُوَالِهِمْ صَدَقَةً تُطَهِّرُهُمْ بِهَا Take from their money a sadaqa. Sadaqa is the filth of the believer. وَسَخُ الْمُؤْمِنِ 
and the Prophet ﷺ forbade it for himself and for his family, Ahlul Bayt. It's forbidden for them to accept sadaqahs. But this verse says, خُذْ مِنَ مَوَالِهِمْ سَدَقَةً تُطَهِّرُهُمْ بِهَا Even though a sadaqah is forbidden with regard to the Prophet, Prophet accepts a gift but not a sadaqah. The key to this verse, he said, is the ajar, the recompense or the reward of the sadaqah, of the act of charity, is تُطَهِّرُهُمْ you cleanse them with it. The wali is the inheritor of the itra. And the verse says, وَصَلِّ عَلَيْهِمْ And invoke blessings upon them. إِنَّ صَلَوَاتِكَ سَكَنُ لَهُمْ Your invocation of blessings is a second a repose, i.e. The, it's the misbah, it's the mishkat for them. And thus giving to the poor is for reward and for paradise. But giving to the wali is for self-purification and you ask yourself will he accept it from me and if he asks you for something run and hasten to give it to him thus what we have here is preoccupying yourself in order to arrive at God's love versus versus attaining a dwelling in paradise and recompense and reward Azar. if you build a mosque no matter how grand and great and beautiful it is you don't become God's hearing with which he hears you'll have a great house in paradise but if you wish to enter from the gate of the Hadith al-Wali, then you give with the intention of purification, and you will attain purification and tahara, tazkiyah, and salat, invocation of blessings. Ibn Ajiba says, the one whom God loves, God assaults a wali upon him, and the wali takes from him his money. There's this type of sadaqah versus the sadaqah of having an angel accountant to your right recording all your deeds every time you give a sadaqah. If you're seeking sanctity, wilaya, therefore seek for al-wali. And the wali will point you to God. Just as Musa, who was the kalim, the converser with God, his tongue was God's tongue. His eye was God's eye. He said, Arini, show me to see your face, to see God. But yet wilaya had not yet become realized in him. The wilaya subsists by the subsistence of God because God is the wali and to deny the wali is to veer or deviate in the names it's like saying God has 98 names and excluding the name al-wali from his name the wali knows all of God's names just like he knows his own fingers and he knows them to direct tasting and fruitional experience the wali is in a constant state of fear and hope. He is crashing or being moving in the ocean of waves of the names. And he's constantly between raja and khawf. He, he fears being stripped what he's been given. In contrast to the murid who doesn't fear being stripped or being deprived of what he was given. If you bear patiently with out of love in suluk. That is a form of love for the wali. And thus the shaykh fluctuates with you in the nawafil, in the supererogatory deeds of the hadith al-wali, in da'wah, in salat, in siyam, in qiyam. And when he tells you to do something, you do it until he tells you to stop doing it. If he tells you to wash a cup, you keep washing it until he tells you to stop washing it. Don't wash it until you think it's clean, then flip it over for it to dry. You walk with the permission of your shaykh. When you say, I am on the path, it's like saying, I am in a prayer that is constant, the salat and da'ima, and it entails complete emulation and itibah. When you say, I pray, I do a salat, and behind an imam, you are bound or muqayyad from the takbira of lihram, when you say, Allahu Akbar, to begin the prayer, until assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah to the right, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah to the left. With the wali, you are bound, muqayyad, from the bay'ah until he passes away to the all-merciful. The Prophet ﷺ was under the shade of the tree in Jannah. That shade was 500 years of walking. And God renews the affair of this ummah every 100 years. If you want to annul your bay'ah with a wali, wait for 100 years. If you've given bay'ah out of five shakes, I assume that it means you've lived for 500 years. There's one wali per 100 years. If you live 200 years, you'll have two sheikhs. The name al-wali descends every 100 years. And when you make a mistake with the wali, 
Don't apologize, just rectify yourself. The Prophet ﷺ was a mercy unto the worlds, and so are the people of his home, of his household, his family, Ahlul Baytihi. And the Shaykh has yearning and love for a murid, a true murid. Al Murabbi min Ind Rabbi, the one who is trained is comes from his Lord. Thus when the Shaykh says, Come here, it's either to give you tabshir, glad tidings, or tanvir, warning. If any Shaykh walks into the Zawiyah with four angels to his right, the four archangels, Mikail, Israfil, Jibrail, Azrael, I wouldn't be shaken. I would just say, Where is your Lord? If I had found a Wali, I would have followed him myself. The proof of the Wali is evident. The proof of Imam Shadali is Hizb al Bahar. Philosophy, speech, eloquent books that are widespread. This is not a proof of wilaya, it's a proof of eloquent speech, philosophy, and discourse. Every prophet is sent from his own ummah. He's a member of the very community that he's sent to. The same with a wali. A wali transfers his sir. 40 days before he passes away to his inheritor. Wilaya is the reality of the name. It is direct knowledge of the essence, the attributes, and the names. It is direct knowledge of the name written with the original or primordial inscription upon the Lawh al Mahfuz, the preserved tablet. Tadrij, step by step training in this knowledge, occurs at the hand of a sheikh. In surah, in form, in the cosmos, and in time. On one wall, he may have he may cause a disclosure of an ocean or an entire neighborhood and you work with that tajalli that disclosure and you finish it and you complete it even in your grave a wali is one who brings down the medical before entering upon a wali you dazzle people after leaving uh, with an encounter with a wali your darkness is fully exposed when we enter a zawiya when the enemies of a wali obey him god elevates the wali. So when a wali manifests, draw near unto him in order to benefit and he will grace you with togetherness of lordship. That's one option to draw near. The second is to turn away and become distant from him. That means that you're mahroom al-asr. You've been deprived in your age. And the third is to try to betray and, and declare animosity towards him and then God will wage war against you. So you either draw near, draw far from afar, or you combat. A Samiri changed gold into a, a bull or a, a calf that actually emits a sound. And he wasn't a wali. If a wali gives you a dead cat, cling to it, hold on to it. If he gives you a piece of, a piece of cloth or clothing, don't, don't wear it. Because it is qaribun min ahdillah, it is close to the covenant of God. Use it as a source of barakah, tabarrak bihi. You're blind, you need to learn knowledge of the nuqta, of the dot. Like the blind learning how to read with real script. Only God's light, nurullah, unites all of us in all of our diversity. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad. Kama sallayta ala Sayyidina Ibrahim wa ala ali Sayyidina Ibrahim. وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما باركت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد